Ariel and Kennedy. Here's the kit we ordered online. It came with a lot of extra things that we won't use in this experiment, but we will use in future experiments. If you've already opened the package, you should be storing your plates in the fridge to keep them bacteria free while you wait to do an experiment. When you want to do another experiment, simply remove the plates from the fridge one hour before you plan on using them. If you haven't already, simply cut the top off of your vacuum sealed package. We will be growing bacteria in these. This is a petri dish, and inside of the dish is a nutrient rich gel called triptych soy auger. Most times when you buy these, you have to pour in the gel yourself, but our plates are pre-poured so we don't have to fuss with that. Besides the petri dishes, we will also need sterile swabs and a regular old sharpie. To sterilize the swabs, all you need to do is simply boil water in a tea kettle and then take the cotton tip swab and dip it inside of the water. For this experiment, we will swab the countertop. Because the countertop is a dry surface, it's best to use the swab after already dipping it into the boiled water. After swabbing, gently wipe the cotton tip onto the auger inside of the plate. If you're doing multiple experiments, you'll want to write the name of the area you swabbed on the lid of the plate so you know which bacteria came from where. Place the lid back on the petri dish and then flip the entire dish upside down. Next, you'll want to find a simple desk lamp. We simply left our plates in the spotlight 24-7 and saw results within 48 hours. However, if you're concerned, you can place a regular thermometer beside your lamp to monitor your plate's temperature. Anything from 85 to 100 degrees is fine. If you use too much heat, you can kill the bacteria. That concludes our experiment for today. Is there anything else you guys want to swap?